Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I am guest designing for KS Craft and I am using some of the match release. In this video, I have used this one here that has the um, rectangle pieces that are great for card making. So you can use these two pieces for layering. But I love making cards as well, but it wasn't in my head to do that. I really wanted to make some embellishments using some of the lovely pieces that come with it, such as these pieces here, and then the flower pot. So that's the base, and you can use that to turn it into a shaker if you wanted to. These are all of the wonderful layering pieces that come with it, as well as the word bloom, and friend, and hello. And I have used all of these pieces to create my beautiful mini album. I am gonna go ahead and show you my finished album. So you've seen the parts of the process of my album. For the front cover, I have used the largest set that punches out these little hole. And I love the little tiny circles. And then I also cut out the middle part of that piece. So when you cut that piece out, you get a solid rectangle piece like this. And I just use my knife to cut out the middle part to create my shaker frame. And then I also used lovely iridescent tool piece that I layered in between the laminating sheet, took it to my laminator and created my acetate front like that. For the inside, I have used this lovely rainbow pattern paper. And this is a wonderful collection from Echo Park. It is a beautiful fairy collection. And I have used some sticker pieces from the 12 by 12 sheet that comes in the collection kit. And I use these word pieces from Maggie Holmes Market Square, I believe. And inside for the shaker, I have used some pinks and yellows just taking some colors off the rainbow. And this is how my front part of the album looks. So I shared with you guys the measurement of the largest die that comes in the set. And I will just quickly remind you that that was four by five and quarter. And so I just went with that size and made it slightly bigger to make my mini album cover. And for the spine, I just left it like this blank because I love the ombre effect of the pattern, uh, the paper I chose. The back, I have cut out two pieces from the set, the largest one and then the rectangle stitched one and layered it on top. So if you are a card maker and you bought this set, you can easily layer beautiful colors together like this to create a lovely background. I also have cut out many of these two, which I showed you in the process part, and I use those as part of my pages, and I'm going to show you right now. So this is the circle, the circular border is the largest die in the set. This hello word is also included in the set, and I have added Nouveau Shimmer pen on it as you can see and these are the beautiful fairies that come in the echo park collection kit and then i also went through and chose beautiful floral uh, pattern papers that i had in my stash and layered it using the two dice i've showed you so here is a beautiful page here that you can um, add embellishments to or your photos to so this is a mini album or a mini embellishment book and then the other side is like this. So you can see how beautiful the two layering pieces makes. And then here, down here, I made an embellishment using the beautiful stickers from the fairy collection. Also using this part here and this part here. So this is the base layer of the pot. And then you get the frame piece that you can layer on top like this. And it also cuts out a little slot where you can insert things. So I have fully utilized that cutout bit and inserted my flowers. And instead of turning this into a shaker, I just added beautiful lace trim underneath on top of the pattern paper and just stitched it together. 
And this is a tuck spot, you guys. So I'm going to show you. So you can tuck things behind. Then um, next page is like this. I have made another embellishment, the pot embellishment, using stickers to tuck into the cut slot. And I added beautiful mushrooms down there and it says do what you love. And this is also a tuck spot at the back as well. Here's, here are the two layered pieces for my page. And then here I have used the word piece bloom and double layered it, added a shimmer pin to it. And then this is the daisy flower that comes with it. So I cut out using the gold uh, glitter cardstock and the pattern paper. And then this is just such a pretty embellishment base also, but I just simply glued that piece onto the page above the bloom to create a tuck spot there for the album. The next page is like this. Here is another pot embellishment I made, and this time I turned it into a shaker by using a really thin, um, lovely tool with a star print on it, and then I added sequins in it to stitch it all around the pot at the bottom. I included some um, lovely flowers, and this is also a tuck spot as well. And then that's the last page, I believe. It looks like that. And then I have used that uh, friend word. I double layered it, added a shimmer pen, and that's my final page. So this was such a simple, fun mini album or embellishment book to make. So when you have this die set, you can do so much with it. I'm even thinking that I can use this to make my future gift boxes as well. So you can do like layering, you can make a shaker frame like this and use it as part of the lid, or you can just simply layer the two large pieces together like this and add your embellishment onto here. You can even just use the smaller size and add your acetate piece um, or a tool to turn it into a shaker. There are so many ways to use this simple set. It is a really pretty set. And then you get these pieces. And just with these pieces, I was able to create so many fun elements. Let me show you some of the different flower combos that I have got here. So I also used glitter foam sheet to cut out the outer frame of the daisy. Same with the glitter cardstock in gold. I have this one here with the pattern paper as the base. Then I will show you two more of my pot embellishments that I've made. And they are just so sweet. Look at that. This one, I used a vellum for the bottom part of the pot. This one, I just made it um, without using anything. I just layered the two pieces like this and then added these embellishments on there. And they are so pretty. So you can also use the large daisy to slot into the top part of the pot like that if you wanted to. Thank you so much for being here and I really appreciate you guys for watching my video and leaving me kind comment. And thank you once again to KS Craft for sponsoring this die set for me. Bye for now.